guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. My name is Zoe. Most of you know me as ZA Reptiles. I'm a former ACA student educator, I'm a naturalist, and I'm a reptile mom. And so it is like 10 o'clock at night. I just got home from the rink, but I wanted to give you guys a brief overview of what to expect for tomorrow. So tomorrow is the big day we've all been waiting for. I'm taking Suki, my African fat tail gecko, to the vet for her bubble foot. So for those of you that don't know about Suki, I adopted two African fat tails a couple months ago, um, right in the thick of things with COVID. One of them, Suki, had a bubble foot. So one of her foot is like literally a round little bubble. She walks on it totally fine. I can poke at it and touch it and it doesn't bother her. So I don't think it's anything major, but she's never seen a vet for it. The lady that had her, took them in from someone else she knew and she said she's as far as she knows she's had it her whole life um she tried to do some research and couldn't find anything on it and didn't realize that there were reptile vets or didn't realize we had some up here i don't know she's closer to this one than i am she's only like not even an hour away from the one i'm going to so i don't know but i said i'm gonna take them to the vet you know, I will update you with what I find out. But of course, it was in the thick of things with COVID. So all the vets were closed. The only one that was open was one that I didn't really trust. So because I didn't know what was going on with her foot, I wanted to take her to someone that was experienced. Okay, my camera died, so I forgot where I left off. But yeah, so anyway, tomorrow I'm gonna vlog the trip down there. I have to stop at Target because there's something I wanna get, so hopefully they have it. Go to PetSmart for work. Um, and then we're gonna go to the vet and see what they say. So tomorrow's a big day. We've all been waiting for it. So I will see you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. So my plan was to get up at seven, go for a run, work out, shower, go to the nature center, pick up the animals. Well, I woke up at seven, fell back asleep. It's now 8.40. So I'm just gonna go shower grab Suki and go to the nature center. All right, this is the look we've got going. Um, literally, okay, today is Tuesday. Oh, what is my hair doing? Today is Tuesday. Last Tuesday, it was snowing. Today, it's supposed to be like 73. All of my summery warm weather clothes are packed up now. I have my winter clothes. So, this is the best I can do, exclude, ignore all the clothes. This is the best I can do for 70 degree weather. Gonna be a little toasty, but it is what it is. Okay, so I've got my bag. I love this bag. I know it doesn't quite match, but it can fit my iPad, which I'm bringing because I can't go into the vet's office. I have to sit and wait. So then over here, we've got little Suki all ready to go. Can you show us your bubble foot? Show us your bubble foot, there it is. So that's their bubble foot that I was telling you guys about. Right there. So she's got a nice comfy blanket. I've got some hand warmers whoop, in case I need them. But it's supposed to be warm, so I don't think I will, but I have them just in case. And now we're gonna go get the turtles from the nature center. Okay, so we've got Suki up here. Boxy, the box turtle down here. And over here we've got Geo, the map turtle. So I lied, outfit change. Oh, excuse the messy car. Um, yeah, so it's already like 70 out and just putting stuff into my car, I started sweating. My legs were really warm from those boots. So I was like, nope, we can't do it. I thought I'd look cute because I'm going shopping. I'm gonna run into Target and Petsmart. So, you know, I never get to go anywhere. So I try to dress cute and wear real clothes so I can actually say that I wear my clothes. And, um, nope. Nope. T-shirt and sneakers. That's how we're gonna do it today. And you know what? It's fine. It's comfy. It's cute. I'm wearing my Waterless t-shirt. So it was for a good cause. It's all good. So I've got the animals. I'm leaving later than I wanted. It's 10 o'clock now and I was hoping to be on the road at 9 30. So not too late considering I woke up way late. Um, but yeah, so we've got like a two hour drive now. I have just over half a gallon of gas, so I'm gonna risk it. This car is pretty good on gas mileage. Um, so, worst case scenario, there's gas stations along the way, but we're just gonna, we're gonna roll with it. 
I think I can get there with this much gas. Um, yeah. Okay, so I don't know if I told you this last night. I don't remember. But talking to Jordan Jones, a lot of you know her as JJ's Reptile World. Um, she is a wildlife rehabber. And so I was talking to her about it. And she was asking me questions. And I w was, you know, looking at it, touching it and everything. Um, we came to the conclusion that it's probably just a cyst that needs to be popped. So fingers crossed super simple super easy fix um this is why i haven't given the fat tail substrate yet they're still on paper towel um they're not in their fight i don't have a, like final enclosure for them yet i'm still up in the air as to what size i want and i keep going back and forth i think i have figured it out now now i just have to order it but i'm waiting for my new enclosures to come in first so i can kind of see the quality see what i think before ordering a bunch more so they will be getting a new enclosure. But in the meantime, I was gonna give them substrate. So, you know, it's a little more natural. It helps with the humidity. But I didn't know what was gonna happen with Suki's foot. Whether I need to separate them and put her in like a hospital enclosure, or if she just needed to be on paper towel for a while, while it heal, depending on what they do. Maybe they don't do anything and it's just like a weird birth defect and she's totally fine, I don't know, so. I'm very excited to see what comes out of this appointment today. Okay, so let's talk road trip activities. What do you guys like to do when you're stuck in the car for hours? Leave a comment below because I'm constantly in the car driving. Um, lately, my thing has been listening to podcasts. I know those have become a little more popular lately. Um, so, some of my favorites animals at home obviously with dylan he's super awesome the podcasts are all about reptiles it's super informative it's really great um reptilian ramble of course with hunter and davis it's just such a fun podcast which way am i going left or right i can't see okay now i can see how did I get all the way out here? I don't even know where the heck I am. It's not the way I thought I was going. Okay, maybe I'm not gonna pass gas stations. Well, here's hoping I make it all the way there because I'm under half a gallon now. Anyway, Reptilian Ramble with Hunter and Davis. It's such a fun podcast. It's new. They've got like their first season out of episodes. They've talked to people like Jessica's animal friends, Medusa. It's just such a fun one. And they've kind of announced some of the people that they're interviewing for the second season. And it just looks like it's going to be so awesome. Don't Get It Twisted is one of my new favorites. So I don't know if you guys have heard of her Taylor. I don't remember her last name. I want to say Taylor Woods on YouTube. She's a fitness YouTuber. Um, and she has a podcast. It's, just, it's really good. Um, she talks about YouTube, fitness, mental health, um, just all sorts of things. But it's a really fun podcast. Um, one of my other favorites that I've listened to, I think it's called Women in Illustration. Um, so, you'll find a lot of like the Etsy podcasts or art podcasts are very, I don't want to say formal, but, but they're just very like informational and kind of formal where I feel like il women in illustration the girl that hosts it I can't for the life of me think of her name right now but she is so freaking funny and it's just like a conversation between friends there's jokes it's very just informal so it's a lot of fun and they talk about like design styles jobs in illustration how to make money with illustration, like all this stuff. So it's a super fun podcast and I love listening to it. So if you guys have podcasts you like, leave them in the comments or other car fun ideas that keep you entertained. I know a lot of people are all about the karaoke. Love car karaoke. You know, that's when I get real bored. I start going nuts and playing Disney Pandora and reliving my childhood. So, 
We've got 45 minutes left. So not bad, we are halfway there. If I see a gas station, I might have to stop, but we'll see. Okay, so we're here now. I have an hour and a half until the vet appointment. I wanted to come early so I could leave myself enough time to run my errands before the appointment. So when we're done with the animals at the vet, I can just fly home because I do have skating tonight. I have to teach some lessons tonight. So I wanna make sure I'm on time for that. So <clears throat> I wanna get as much of my errands done before the vet as possible. And luckily we've got this nice warm weather so I don't have to worry about leaving the animals in the car. It's the perfect temperature for them. Okay. Let's go. Target first. Literally, it feels so good to be out of the car right now. It's only an hour and a half. I don't know how I ever used to drive five hours constantly between home and college. My butt is so sick of sitting. To be honest, this is the reason I came to Target. Hour and a half, just for this. Thank you. Listen, I'm not the type of person to celebrate Christmas early. I'm the most obsessed with the Christmas person there is, but I keep it all in until Black Friday because any sooner just feels wrong, especially this year. Like this year would be the year I'd be okay with it because 2020 is just, it's 2020. So I feel like celebrating early this year is acceptable. Except for the fact that we normally would be really cold right now and have snow. It is like 70 something degrees outside and sunny. So it just feels wrong celebrating that wintry wonderland filled holiday when it is sunny and 70 out. But with that said, I live in a small town with nothing but like Walmart. So while I'm here with a Target, I'm gonna take advantage of it and I really, really wanted those PJs. So also peppermint mocha frappuccino, delicious. I don't like coffee, I don't drink coffee, I don't like the taste of coffee, but frappuccinos from Starbucks, the like nice frozen ones, they're like chocolate milkshake, especially the peppermint. I gotta give in to the wintry wonderland goodness. If you want to just fill out, we have registration forms for each of them, but the top part is pretty much just the Nature Center's um, information. So if you want okay. to just fill out one of them, the top part, and then fill out the second part on these, like we'll have one turtle, the other turtle, and then the turtle. But I'll just have to fill out the top part one so I can save you the feeling okay. on that. Should I fill out the top part for myself or the gecko? Because she's my personal animal. Yes. Okay. Yes. If it's your personal animal, then go ahead and fill it out um, that way and I'll have you leave it um, right on the table there. We'll get all the files together and um, send one of the girls out to go over everything with you. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Hi. Hi. Got a couple turtles? Yep. Okay, so I can take them in. They're just um, beak and male turtles? Yes, so Geo here, we brought him just to see. Uh, it was kind of long on the sides. The front we didn't think looked bad, but the sides were a little long, so that would bring him just to see what you guys thought. Okay, does he need his nails? Um, we didn't think of nails were too bad, it was more the other one that did. Okay. So there's Geo, and then here's Boxy. Boxy, okay. So Boxy needs nails and... And beak. Okay. Yep. Alrighty, right back. Alright, the vets just took in the turtles, so we're just waiting for them to come back out with Suki. Um, I figure they probably have to put in all of our information for her because the turtles have already been here so they have their information but this is my first time bringing one of my animals here so we're just waiting for them to come back out they took the turtles and we're just waiting for Suki um, so, what's going on with so I adopted her and her sister took them in a couple of months ago back when COVID was like just starting to really hit so everyone was closed but she's about three years old and the lady that had her told me that she's had this bubble foot that's what she called it it's like swollen okay. for what she thinks is her whole life um, she's never seen a vet before, so, but she walks on it fine, I can touch it, it doesn't seem to bother her. Okay. So we don't know if maybe it's just a cyst or what's going on. Okay. So she's eating she's fine, eating fine okay. going to the bathroom fine, okay. otherwise totally normal, it's just okay. a really weird foot. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, we'll get her checked out. Thank you. 
Okay, now we wait to see what they say. So this is Suki? Yes. Okay, so the mass on the, le on the foot isn't in a spot where it's bearing any weight. It doesn't look irritated, it doesn't look infected. It could just be something like a benign tumor, like a fatty growth, a lipoma. It could be something worse. Um, if it's not affecting his quality of life, I'm not sure it's worth doing anything. Okay. I don't know how deep it goes, and if you start trying to take it off, it might interfere with his ability to use the foot. Okay. It, has it been there for a while? Um, the lady, I, I took her and her sister in just a couple months ago, mm -hmm. but she's about three years old, and the lady said she thinks she's had it her whole life, but she took them in from a friend maybe a year ago, so she thinks she's had it her whole life. <laughs> It's pretty big, so you know, surgery to take it off would be pretty. Um, it, it could cause some real side effects mm -hmm. in an animal this small. Yeah. So I would say if it's not bothering him, we'll just let it be. Okay. Um, you know, if it were limping on it or couldn't use the foot or was chewing at it or if it was ulcerated and infected, I'd say we need to do something. Right. But the skin over it looks nice and healthy. I would just keep an eye on it. If it's growing, at some point we may have to do something about it, especially if it opens up or gets infected. Okay. Okay. Welcome to play. My name is Danielle. I'm a base Um, can I do? I'm gonna do an eight count Chick Fil A nugget plate meal, please. Okay. And what would take you to beverage? Um, can I do a small frosted lemonade? Small frosted lemonade. Yes. Anything else for you today? Uh, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. You too. You guys don't even understand. Well, actually, most of you probably do. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you guys probably do understand how happy Chick-fil-A makes me and what an important part of my life it is because nuggets and waffle fries are life. And really, that, that's all there is to it. Chick-fil-A nuggets and waffle fries with a frosted lemonade. That is life. That is what I call happiness. And that is how I stay content with my life. Get out of the road, get out of the road. Peace, love, happiness, but don't run over pedestrians when they walk across the road when you have a green light. <laughs> okay, so back to Target because those PJs I got, they have them for dogs and my boss wants me to get a pair for her dog. So we're gonna run back in there, grab those, and then we'll be on our way home and we will chit chat about the vet visit a little bit in case you weren't able to really hear what was going on and what was said. Okay, so before I hop on the road and do the hour and a half, two hour drive home, I wanted to just recap on the vet visit. Um, I just listened back to the video so you can hear what she's saying pretty well. Um, but just to recap, her bubble foot, as you guys have seen in pictures and whatnot, is on the top of her foot. And because it's not in a spot that's affecting her ability to walk, because she's so small and it's not affecting her ability of life, then or her quality of life, it's not something the vet feels we need to take care of urgently. Um, it could be, you know, we thought maybe it was a cyst. I didn't think to ask her if it was possible that it could be a cyst. She must not think it is, um, but she said it could just be like a fatty growth or a benign tumor. Um, so if you don't know what a benign tumor is, it's basically a tumor that's not like super bad for your health. It's not going to spread throughout your body. It's slow growing. It's non-cancerous. So really it's just like a lump. It's really not going to do anything to harm her health as long as it's not interfering with vital parts of the body, which it's not being on top of her foot. She's walking fine. She's eating fine. It's clearly not affecting her quality of life in the location that it's at and just being what it is. Um, so because Yugi is so small and any type of surgery or procedure with reptiles, especially small reptiles, can be very risky. So she doesn't feel comfortable or at this time, because it's not affecting her quality of life, she doesn't feel it's necessary to go poking and prodding around with her foot um, in case, you know, maybe 
it's fine now, but you go messing with it and it's not fine anymore and then suddenly she can't walk anymore. Um, and then it does affect her quality of life. There's people looking at me right now. That's kind of awkward. Um, keep walking, keep walking. Okay, anyway, they like flat on just stared me down as they walked by. Anyway, so we decided to just leave it alone should it start growing more or affecting her quality of life or she starts messing with it and it's clearly bothering her, I'll bring her back and we'll take the next steps. But she's about three years old and it doesn't seem to bother her at all. So, just gonna let it be and see what happens. Um, that's really all there is to it. I'm very grateful that that ended up not charging me at all for the visit. I was ready to pay at least 60 bucks just because she took the time to look at her. But they took the two turtles I have and Suki and within 10 minutes they were back out with all three of them. So I was like, holy crap. I'm like, okay, well, they have Suki. They're walking out with her and the turtles, which means they must not have done anything for Suki or it was a cyst and they just popped it or there's nothing they can do or they want to reschedule surgery. I'm like, oh my God, like, I don't know what this means. And she was just like, yep, you know, there's nothing we can do right now. It's not affecting her quality of life. She's managing fine with it. It's not in an area of her body that's going to uh, that's going to affect. So just leave it alone. And should it ever start affecting her, then we'll go from there. But right now, it's not doing anything. And it's not bothering her. So to do anything for her to try to get rid of it would be more risky than just letting her keep her bubble foot. So she's keeping it. And as much as I don't like that she has a bubble foot, it's helpful because it helps me distinguish between the two. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that. So not really a very like, it's kind of an anticlimactic vlog, but I got Chick-fil-A. So also, you know, you're an adult when you get really excited about a new laundry basket. So excited. I ended up taking the money that I didn't spend at the vets, went to PetSmart, got some animals, some nice things, got a new big hide for Calypso for when she gets her new enclosure. I am so excited. I've been wanting that hide forever, but it's so expensive. But I was like, I set aside this money for the vet. I didn't have to use it, so. And then, of course, I went to Home Goods. But yeah, so she ended up not charging me. I was very grateful. Probably just because, you know, she, she took one look at her and was like, just leave it. And at that point, for the two seconds she was in there, I, I don't know, I, she's just awesome that I love her already. Didn't charge me for the two seconds it took her to look at Suki. That is a 10 out of 10 bet in my books. All right, so thank you guys for joining me for another video. Um, I would apologize for not being that exciting, except I'm happy that she doesn't think this issue is like detrimental to her health. So that's good. So as always, thank you guys for watching this video. Give a big thumbs up for Suki, who is just gonna have a bubble foot. It's just her quality, her special characteristic. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button because this month I'm just getting a bunch of new enclosures in. So we're gonna be doing that. And the next month is Hurt Miss 2020. And I cannot wait. So you don't wanna miss Hurt Miss. You guys were around for Hurt Miss last year. You guys know Hurt Miss is so much fun. So hit that subscribe button if you want to stay around or if you want to stick around. I'm so hungry and tired. I just need to go home. So hit that subscribe button if you want to stick around. I gotta go home so I can bring turtles back to the nature center and then go with the rink to teach lessons. Peace out, Cub Scouts. We'll see you next time.